are done with the informative speech and the demonstration speech, as the case may be. And so when we talked last time about the informative speech, it was all about what is, or with your demonstration speech, you demonstrated what to do, or how to do a complex system. Now we're transitioning, and we're going to persuasive speaking. Now, if you remember last time, I put informative here, and persuasive here. And we had a great and wonderful dialogue about what this was all about. What was this all about? Facts. Facts. Statistics. Statistics. And I conclude, I wrapped it all up into a, a statement. Informative speech is? Objective. Well, thank you, Jordan. Nice enough. What is? What is? And in your demonstration speech, you demonstrated what you need to do to accomplish something. Now, in the informative speech, or the persuasive speech, I told you, don't cross over this line. Don't tell us to do something. And we said persuasive speaking is, if, if, if informative speaking is what is, persuasive speaking is why? what to do. should be. What should be. Thank you, Wes. What should be. Specifically, persuasion is telling us or trying to change someone's thoughts, views, opinions, and beliefs. But what, for what purpose? Do we care if, um, if, if uh, during the election that we just had, do you think the politicians would have cared if they convinced you that uh, they were the best candidate? Was that important to them? No. Not at all. Did they, do you think they would have really liked it if they persuaded you that, that you should give money to them? Yes. Yeah. No, not at all. What do they want? Your vote. They want you to vote. And what then what do they want? Your money. Your money. So unless you vote for them, unless you actually end up voting, or unless you actually give up money for them, the persuasion was for naught. Do you think McDonald's commercials or any other commercial is satisfied if you just laugh at their commercial? Like we, we have a good in our culture, we have a good idea and we look forward to Super Bowl commercials, right? Mm -hmm. Do they care if we just think they're great? No. What do they want? Just to consume their product. Consume their product by giving them their money. So persuasion, the purpose of persuasion is always, always, always to do to get the people to change their action. And so is the same with our persuasive speech. In your purpose statement, your persuasive speech will be to persuade the audience to do something. So the informative speech, to, or the tribute speech, to pay tribute to, the informative speech, to inform the audience about, or to demonstrate how to do. And then finally, with the persuasive speech, Persuade the audience to do something. And so it's always an action. You can't persuade the audience to not do something. So only if and only if the not to do something would be an actual action that they would have to <coughs> take that goes against their normal behavior. For example, if they were to if you were to persuade the audience to not eat fast food, that only works if we would naturally assume that the audience eats fast food. So to not eat fast food is actually an action. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. A very poor or a big hole that students step fall into with persuasive speech is they start off with the wrong purpose <coughs> statement. To persuade the audience to think differently about abortion. Would that work very well? Why not? No action. There's no action. Can you give an abortion speech? You bet. But the action has to be implied, excuse me, has to be specific in the purpose statement. It has to be specific. What you want us to do needs to appear in the purpose statement itself. And then, as the organization structure after that, all of the subpoints need to fall, follow, on, or all the main points rather, follow underneath that as reasons why we should do the purpose statement. So, there's, in, in some of your organization, you could organize your outline to be three reasons why we should do the purpose statement. 
three reasons why we should do the purpose statement. First reason, so let's, let's think of a topic. What's a, a genetic, <coughs> think of a non-intellectually, socially significant topic. So a topic that we probably wouldn't pick in this class, but uh, for, for our actual speeches, but something a little bit more fun. What could we why come up with? Why you shouldn't eat fish. Say that again? Why you shouldn't eat fish. Well, someone could probably. Why you should eat. sing karaoke. Yes, why everyone should sing karaoke. <laughs> okay, all right. Fine. So no one can give a persuasive speech about singing karaoke, right? So if so, the action is to sing. Now I'm gonna really mess up. How do we spell karaoke slowly? K A R A E A O K E. Wow. I do. I cannot. Is there somebody that actually knows how to spell it? Slowly and only. A-A-R-A-O-K-E. All right, so to persuade the audience, we just imply to persuade the audience to sing karaoke. There's three reasons why we should sing karaoke. The first reason, and you could even write this out in your, in your outline or in your draft outline to get you going to make sure that you're doing the action. But so for this case, let's go ahead and write it out. The first reason why you should sing karaoke is that what? Why should we sing karaoke? It's fun. Because, because it is fun. Cool. Now, do we have a main point that supports the purpose statement. Yes. Yeah. Sure. I like that. What if we did this? Um, I'm just, karaoke. <laughs> <coughs> okay, you laugh. Karaoke has a lot of equipment. How's that? No. Second main point is karaoke has a lot of equipment needs. Is that going to work? No. 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 Why not? Say it again, nice and loud. It's informative. Absolutely. That is absolutely an informative statement. You are going very downhill at this moment if this is your speech. Because all of your main points must the arguments why we should do your main points. So carry, the second reason we should do karaoke is? Liberating. Karaoke oh. is liberating. Is, is this a full declarative statement that supports the main point? Yeah. Yes. Yes. But I don't have the, the, notice how this one I have the first reason why you should, but this one I don't have the, so you have the second the reason why you should. Is there a problem? It should be consistent. consistent. Yeah, be consistent, and I'm doing this intentionally so you know that you don't have to write the first reason why you should is, but it will help ensure that you don't get an informative main point. The previous main point that I had up there, uh, karaoke has a lot of equipment needs. What if I wrote it out with, this, with this statement and wrote it all out. The second reason why you should do karaoke is that karaoke has a lot of equipment needs. Does that make any sense whatsoever? None. And so to help ensure that you do not give informative statements, you can write it out, the first reason why you should, tag your main point on there, and it should flow just nicely. Yeah, Daniel. It does sound like it could be a counter argument. Why you the reason why you should not do karaoke is because it has a lot of equipment needs. So it could, could be. Sure, sure. So, the, so what Daniel said is that it could be that you're introducing your opposing view, which we will get to in a second when we bring up the syllabus. And absolutely, you need to have the opposing view. However, what do we know about main points and purpose statements? They always support each other. So can I, by that definition, can I have an opposing view as a main point? Absolutely not. So excellent question. And so the opposing view we will get to will actually be a sub point. We'll get to that in just a moment.
Yeah. So do I always have to put in my main point if I'm, can I just put the first reason why is because it's fun? Or do I have to always put the first reason why you should sing karaoke? You have two options. You can have a declarative statement, karaoke is, a liber is liberating to the singer. Or the second reason why you should sing karaoke is that it's very liberating for the singer. Yeah. So we need the purpose statement in the main point. We need the what we're doing. 